the idea that, again, reality is split into two, one of which is real and one is, you know, fanciful. Mm -hmm. uh, and that essentially what we call science has all of the foundations of knowledge under its domain. Um, that itself actually is a religious ideology. We have the truth. We know how to get to the truth. Um, it's a religious dogma. And it seemed to have been crumbling um, up until COVID, where then the whole world doubled down on a very narrow version of, of what science is. Like so much is excluded, like 30, 40 years of the development of alternative and holistic medicine, you know, just out the window. The ideology of science is crumbling from the inside and not only because of quantum physics, although that's a big part of it, because, you know, quantum physics was the, was the terminus of the reductionistic project, which sought to reduce complexity to simplicity. And the idea was we get to fundamental building blocks and deterministic relations between those building blocks and our ability to predict the behavior of physical systems and therefore to control them would then reach its culmination. It, it would have no limit. If you can control something at the most minute level, then you're in control. You can dominate anything like, mm. like the body, for example. Um, and instead of reaching that um, paradise of precision and understanding and control, what happened was we reached indeterminacy, where, you, where, where at the very base of everything was something that looked a lot like randomness, not determinism, where things just happened without a cause, where our whole since Newton or even before, our whole scientific ideology was that, was that things only happen if they're made to happen, when a force operates on something. But a uranium atom, it, there it is sitting there, and then all of a sudden it decays. Why? Mm. Why does it decay at this moment, not that moment? The old way of thinking says, well, something must have happened to it. Something must have you know, jostled it and knocked those um, protons loose from the nucleus. Something must have happened, right? Something must have changed. No, <laughs> that's not how it is. It just happens randomly. There's a certain probability it'll happen at a certain amount of time. It just happens a-causally. So the interpretation of physics was, okay, it's random. But there's another interpretation which in which you can say that consciousness or choice is elemental, that mm. the uranium atom chooses to decay at a certain time, that a photon chooses where to be diffracted to, which path to take, that choice is irreducible. And this is so hard. It's so alien to uh, orthodox thinking that it still has this, this interpretation does not come easily to the scientific mind at this point. And then that's just one of the revolutions in science. Mm -hmm. The other one is complexity theory, or another one is complexity theory, that order can come out of chaos, mm. and that it's not something that we have to impose upon the world, and that we're not in an endless battle against entropy. Uh, and there's there's huge con consequences of that too, which would take me a, an hour to, to <laughs> flesh out. But, but yeah,